need you in my arms again Cause it's you, it's always you Do, 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 do It's you, it's always you Shake a stick at tonight. Yeah, yes. I travel by airplane, roll by van. This has always been my perfect plan. Big stage, corner of the bar. Good songs take you far. Where's the whiskey? Where's the beer? What I gotta do to have fun around here? Whole thing never gets old. Man, I still love the road Let the poor boy run Head me west into the sun I can always sing another one This is what I call fun night yeah. You see, I've played in every place With neon in the window and a little bit of space If you got something you gotta say Go out there and blow them away only makes me blue, but this is what I know how to do, make a good noise all night long, chase down another song, so let the poor boy run, head me west into the sun, I can always sing another one, this is what I call fun, yeah, this is what I call fun, yeah, no, listen, for another show I'm checking out of here It's time to go Dallas, Texas, Portland, Maine Blowing through town like a hurricane Yeah, I love these little rooms Coming tired, running on fumes The audience will get you high You're never gonna wanna say goodbye So let the poor boy run Head me west into the sun I can sing another one This is what I call fun Yes, it is. Huh? Out on the borderline, I find all these friends of mine. Man, it's good to see you all from time to time. I love these. 
of these online the friends of mine yeah Another show I'm gonna check out of here, it's time to go. But the truth is when I'm alone, my idea of fun is going home. So let the poor boy run, head me west into the sun. See, I can always sing another one. This is what I call fun. Yeah, I can always do another one. This is what I call fun, yeah. Woo. Well, that felt good, getting off the first tee. Uh, I'm so glad to see so many people on a, on a, on a Saturday night in the springtime when, uh, you know, you got a lot of choices of what airlines to fly on. I'm glad you're flying with us. But uh, I don't want to take too much time except to say I want to bring to you my great friend. She's a, a as things go in the world, if you want to know someone who plays the dobro and writes the best songs and sings the best, and as I've mentioned before, has the very best laugh, uh, it's my great friend Abby Gardner. Here she comes. Hello, Hi, Abigail. Mike. Mike Mark Dennis. Mark Dennis. Yeah. Oh so my good God, to see gosh. you. Yeah. I love I that love song. That, that, song. Was so that was so good. good. Thank you. Well, look at us. We made it. We're here. The technology is on. I suppose it's working. There's people in the room, so I'm not going to make big bones about it. Sing us a song. All right. All right. I will. You're in. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Technology. Hi, guys. It's so good to see you. Thanks for um, staying up so late, some of you um, out in Europe and beyond. So I know it's really late there. It's only 7 o'clock here, but still. <laughs> These days, who knows what's, what time is late to go to bed. Um, here's a little tune I've been working on and uh, for a new recording. It's called Born in the City. Come on in, sit down at my table. me hope you don't mind if i don't speak your language have another plate of my rice and beans all my friends are here at the banquet everybody knows what hungry means when you're born in the city born in the city or just like me
Yeah. 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 I love that. Thanks. Man, that's a that's a that's what they call a hot lick in the hey. in the biz. Oh, yeah. Did you? Good. How come? Do I not? Why do I not know that song? Is it that new? Um. um it, it, it's not it's actually not that actually new. That just new. Take just take me a long time, long time, time to learn it. Learn it, to learn it. To play it. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. I, I know yeah, that feeling. Yeah. But it sounds amazing. You sound amazing. Thank and you. Thank you. the room is full, and that makes me happy. So. Let's do this. We're going to play everybody listening tonight. We're, we're going to do this till about 3 or 4 in the morning, uh, American time. And <laughs> in Europe, we're going to play till about 10 a.m. 10 a. So stay with us. You know, that right. song, um, you're hearing your dobro because I, I haven't seen you in a long time. Like a lot of folks, we haven't seen each other. You know, I consider you among my best friends, but this COVID thing has put us uh, in separate corners for a little bit. But um, yeah. yeah. It, it's great to see you, but also hearing you, I'm remembering how much I love. I'm in the middle of making a record I've been making since 1975, uh, and I want you to play on this tune because when I hear your dobro, it just it takes me there. So I'm gonna play you this one, and I'll see you on the other other side. And Abby, if you're playing along. I'd just like to know that you are. <laughs> I made this song up uh, in Sugarloaf Key, Florida. On the side of the road, it just came to me all at once. Standing on the edge of the turquoise sea, thinking about you. Me, denying the time, casting off the winter's ghost. I am letting you blow away. away. I'm letting you blow away. Wild bird lands on a low wire. The day is done. Sky on fire. I got one hand holding tightly on the mangrove roots. The other one is is letting you blow away. I'm letting you blow away. away. Wild bird lands on a low. lights and the yellow moon I carried you with me down every wild road I've run now I'm letting you blow away deepest places and out across the bay over the gulf into the distant forming storm Clear, there are things here I can no longer deny. So I'm giving up what was never really mine. As much as I will always love you, as much as I will always care, I can no longer hold you in these strengthening winds. So I am, I'm letting you blow away. Thank you. 
below Hey, hey say that if you sing a song with your eyes closed and you're done and there's like still people there it's a success so thank you for staying Abby thanks for staying so I'm gonna implore you to play a dobro on that eventually uh, in a in yeah, um, yeah, on, yeah. a little bit so so uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so you Try got any other me, man. I'm just gonna no. drive, I'm just gonna drive to Rhode Island. Island. <laughs> are you kidding me man I'd like that's that's the dream come true. That's the sound that was in my head. And so, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you got any new, you got that one new song. You got another one lined up or something old? What do you think? I got, I got, um, um I was, I was I was trying trying to it's funny, it's I haven't been on these song, song swaps in a while. We were on stage yeah. together, doing, together this. doing this. I'm inspired, I'm inspired by what you play. By what you and, play. Then and then I'm oh, like, oh, wait, now I want to play, play something right. else. Something else. Um, yeah. Um, but I only but have so many songs about water. So, about water. Yeah, don't worry. As Judd, uh, Judd Caswell used to say to me, play that song of yours. So, yeah. Play that, 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 song, <laughs> that song of yours. The one about the, the, one harbor. About the harbor. Yeah, do water, that one. Water. Right. Well, play anything you want because we just want to hear you. Yeah. So, get to it. Um, Abby Gardner, well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Mark, I, you know, I think we should also tell them some stories about us because we go, we go, we way, go back, way back. And what and I'm, what I'm knowing, knowing about, about my, my uh, uh, at least my patrons, at least my patrons and, and the fans, the that, fans I well. that I know well. They want to know like... The real, the real stories. Like, right. Well, how, we met we, when we first when we met. First met right? Right? How long, ago, how long was ago was that? It's getting on a long time. Uh, it, <laughs> I, it might have been like to the the mid 1960s. It was like 2005, <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, 2004 yeah. or five. Four or five. Something like that. I can't. 2004 or five. I don't remember. But it was in it was in Colorado, mm -hmm. and we met on the side of the stage or behind the stage at the Rocky Mountain yeah. Folks Fest, and um, yeah, uh, it was. Were we both, were we in, the both in the contest that year? The songwriting. That song writing yeah, contest? we were in the contest. But it, what yeah. made me laugh is that uh, you use the word uh, shit balls a lot, and it cracked <laughs> me up. <laughs> so. I got there late. I, late. I, was thinking, I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, thinking. I was, thinking. I was, I was nervous. nervous. I don't like, I don't like contests. contests. Right. Well, um, such as it was. So, yeah, uh, I, I, I felt, I felt a, a, a fellow, fellow um, East Coaster, East Coaster out, out, there, out because there because because in Colorado, in Colorado when, you, when you I remember I went I remember to I went to school, school and no one was no cursing, one was cursing for, a week, for a week. It just felt really weird. Really weird. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the gig, you know. To the you got to curse. So that was. Yeah. So long ago, but we've been friends ever since. Um, they're saying something about, uh, I'm looking at these things, there's some echoing in your thing. I'm wondering, can you hear me when I talk like this? Do you still hear me? Can you I not hear me? me? I no. hear you. Yeah. Oh, you do hear me when I'm like this? But I wonder if, uh, I wonder what that is. So maybe you should just sing a song and we shouldn't talk so much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So give it a, give it a whirl, ladies and gentlemen. She's so good you hear her twice. The great echo of it. To, um, let me let me know if can you hear me twice when I'm talking right now. I'm gonna wait a minute to play my song. Um, you're telling me to turn. Oh, I forgot to turn my reverb on. All right. Okay. Only when there's a double screen. Thank you, Ginger. You guys are awesome. Thank you for showing me that. All right. I was hearing the echo, but I didn't. I was trying to just. Tough it out. <laughs> all right, this is even better because then I can tell all you the stories about Mark Douglas and he can't interrupt. Oh, finally. Oh, yeah, thank you, technology. Thank you, pandemic. No, not really. All right, I was going to do this song. Now I think I've changed my mind. I don't know. All right. Talk so long, I got out of tune. Okay, um, I'm gonna do an older song. Uh, this one's called "Don't Be Afraid of Love." Well, I could understand. 
understand if you're afraid to dance darling you got two left feet karaoke's not your thing it's okay if you can't sing but don't be afraid of love i might be scared to fly thousand feet is way too high up in the sky I'll take the train cause I'm scared of planes but I won't be afraid of love I don't know why they call it falling if you got someone to hold on to you quit that stalling just fall in love with me and I will fall in love with you I'll take the lead when we go dancing you can hold my hand when we fly together we'll be fine I'll be yours if you'll be mine if we're not afraid of love <laughs> I think they're gonna be mad at us if we talk and there's echo, so uh, I'll just get on to my thing, and that was a beautiful song, and don't you say a word. But uh, I love that song, it's beautiful. So here goes. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys can hear everything all right. Man, there's just so many buttons, I don't, you know. I didn't get into this racket, and I know Abby didn't either do, uh, to, to be a scientist, but. Uh, but a lovely song by, by Abby. Thank you so much. I wish we could do our banter. I hope you can hear this. I was talking to Abby on the phone today, and we were both talking about how, you know, you forget words and stuff for songs, and I wrote this song about getting older, and um, I often forget the words to this one. So uh, let's see how this goes. Pay the toll The body 
brakes and is slow to respond and the mind is half full and then it's half gone and the hair on your head turns to gray with every passing day little by little every passing currency you can't save crashing on a beach like so many waves and the body is just wires and bones slowly broken up by sticks and stones each moment comes and then it's gone it's out into the great beyond the air turns to gray with every passing day little by little every passing day passing day said that nothing less that everything now will surely be past Bobby says you better get busy being born and Dinah says blow your horn Dinah says blow your horn See everything that matters, matters now. Everything's changing and the moon is jumping over the cow. And the body is just wires and bones. Slowly broken up by sticks and stones. Mother and child in a beautiful bond and the child up and the child's gone and the hair on your head turns to gray with every passing day little by little every passing day with every passing day little by little every passing day little by little every passing day little by little every passing day. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for the comments that they do help because we, I don't, you know, we don't know until you tell us. So thank you guys very much and uh, thanks for listening to that song. Uh, I should always mention um, Susie Marklin is be pulling the buttons behind the scenes. So thank you, Susie Marklin. She's down in Washington, D.C. You are the best. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I wonder if it's still echoing. I have no idea. They'll tell us, but I just want to say hi, Abby. Great to see you. And uh, <laughs> all right, you're not. You, I feel like we should just talk through the echo like a baseball stadium. Um, but anyway, uh, hello, 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 hello. Uh, we'll play us a tune and let's just keep going along because uh, we're here to sing songs, not not exchange talking points. So here's to you. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to hear you talk anyway, Mark. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love it. I can, He's off the screen, but I can see him in the like backstage area. It's really fun. Oh, gosh. Um, but <laughs> I love it. This is a Saturday night show. He was just giving me the finger. I love it. I have to tell you guys, it's, it's funny. funny. Hey, I did it with, you know, I gave you the finger oh, wait, because wait. you deserved it. <laughs> I did. I definitely did.
Oh my gosh. People, I have needed this. I didn't, you know, I was feeling a little like wah, wah, before this. And I think, I think I needed this. I mean, I know I'm still just alone in my house, but all you guys are here through the magic of the tiny screen. It's amazing. And it's really nice. Um, and Mark, I have more songs. I want to play another new song for you. And this is one that I wrote with my friend Janie Barnett. And it's very, it, we started it before all of this year and uh it wasn't you know it just wasn't right yet it wasn't time and then it was time so this is definitely a um a song about waiting <laughs> and loneliness <laughs> and all sorts of stuff that we all know too well now it's called see you again <clears throat> That is gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. That's my new favorite song. Thank you for playing that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. And what do you call that? See you again. See you again. Jeez. Oh, beautiful. You did it again, Abby Gardner. Incredible. <sighs> you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you guys. Uh, it, one of the things is, as a lawyer, I know you get hit from all sides, especially in this COVID year, but boy, um, donations are such a beautiful thing um, uh, for, for us. 
um, it, it matters. It it means a lot during this this time, especially. And um, you know, it's it's kept our boat afloat. Susie's got that address uh, where donations will go going across the screen, and we really appreciate that. That means a lot. It keeps us going. And um, boy, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. This is uh, this is my kind of night. Let me sing you. If we're doing new songs, Abby, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sing you a new one. So this one here is for you. As I went walking down the great highway in the rain Into the wilderness carrying my troubles and pain A prisoner of the darkness of my mind Another wanderer on the borderline After forty days I met a pilgrim of spirit he said, you can chase the truth, but you are already standing near it. Forgive yourself, and in your own heart be light. And that alone will set you free. Cause that alone will set you free. And that alone will set you free. It'll pick you up. Point you home, is that alone will set you free. To heal the pain that's descended on your life from once you came, both in darkness and in light, the help you seek. Is in the big book upon the highest shelf The one that says Have mercy on yourself Cause that alone Will set you free And that alone Will set you free It'll pick you up Set you free. See, there is no person, no politician, no preacher man can give you what you already have. You carry with you a map to the divine where the horned owl sings to your troubled mind is that alone will set you free and that alone will set you free it'll pick you up it'll point you home is that alone will set you free That felt good. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Um, people say we should talk and see what happens with the machines. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, did uh, are you? What are you gonna play right now? Are you gonna? When are you gonna play my mistakes? Because I really want to hear it. Is that coming up? I was, I was, I was thinking, thinking about doing that next, actually. Oh, this is the most exciting news I've ever heard, Abby. <laughs> I was just checking to see if I, if I turn my computer down. No, it doesn't make it any better. Whatever. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to play, play the song. This song. We, wrote we wrote together. We've written, We've a, couple written a couple songs together, together but this is the one that, like, got wings. Got wings and, and, yeah, and we're going we're gonna to write some more because I'm in the mood for songs these days. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this, so I can't wait to hear it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she's yours. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, 
I'm going to play this song. This is called My Mistakes, and it's on one of Mark Douglas's records. I can't remember which one, but I... Well, but... Well, but... <laughs> he just... Yeah, that's pretty great. Don't worry about it, Patrick Muffy. But uh, Duffy, sorry. No, there's no mic on my computer right now. Don't worry about it. Just something happening. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, this song is called My Mistakes, and it's one uh, Mark and I wrote together. We both know a lot about making mistakes, <laughs> like a whole lot. Um, and I was thinking, Mark, after I play this, I think it would be a good time to tell the story of when I came up to visit you in Rhode Island to write songs and we went to play pool. Um, I tried to tell the story to my patrons and I just couldn't remember all the details. Unfortunately. <laughs> you mean the night that there was almost a bar brawl, like a bar fight. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. We should tell. But, <laughs> but either way, that was a hell. <laughs> yeah. I will leave that to you to tell. Um, when I'm off the screen because the, the echoing, it's just, I think we should still talk. I just, they're going to keep commenting on it if we do it at the same time. So, <laughs> um, yes. Anyway, I'm not afraid of hearing that story again. All right. Here is the song, My Mistakes. All right. I've been practicing this. I will do my best people, but it's called, the thing is when you call a song, My Mistakes, you're going to mess it up because it's just in your brain. <sighs> I remember another songwriter, he named his whole record uh, Broke Down. It was Slade Cleaves. He named his whole record Broke Down, and then he just, like, his tour bus, like, literally broke down the whole tour. Um, so this one's for Slade. <laughs> I'll do my best. I have made mistakes. I have made them all If I couldn't run towards trouble then I would crawl When it comes to mistakes I've made them all When I, I had love in my life but I let it slip away Leaving me to wonder at the end of the day Why I built it just to watch it fall I had love in my life after all When faced with a choice I often choose wrong But even those bad choices They move me along So I cannot regret What I've learned from my mistakes fly from an angry mouth held back forgiveness and given in to doubt then I slipped into silence when I needed to shout I have tripped and fallen so many times I got bruises all over this heart of mine but it's led me here straight to you as if I knew as if I knew when faced with a choice I often choose wrong but even those bad choices they move me along so I cannot regret what I've learned from my mistakes This is the path that has led me to you. Wow. 
I will bless each mist turn and every sky that wasn't blue and I will pray <laughs> love it that was wonderful gosh that's just so cool to hear you do that song um i think we could talk now i might have fixed it so did i think you? yeah they'll let us Wait. know but that was absolutely beautiful yeah you did i think you fixed it. i think i did fi well i didn't fix it let me tell you what happened my great friend Dan Hall, who helps me with all this gear, got in touch with Susie, and Susie relayed to me a message about something that I switched, and I think that solved it. So it's great to talk to you on screen, that's great, but mostly I want to talk about what, what just happened there, because it was so cool to hear that. Uh, that was absolutely wonderful. Uh, just to hear you do it on Dobro like that was great, and I'm really proud of that song we made up, so. Um, and I love that last chord, just, just mostly... <laughs> cracked me up and like did <laughs> so it was really I, I think cool I've, I've decided that I, i'll either end it on that like minor sad chord if it's like i have not learned yeah. no. <laughs> or or like if you have learned i have learned from my mistakes yes i have right, yeah, right. yours is like the story's still pending like this guy's learned nothing basically yeah 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 it can that's go either way i love it and it was your line, I'm really sure that was your line, uh, cracked wide open where love is found, which I always thought was just a great line. So, um, well done. Thank you. Man, that, that made my day. And, uh, you know, it reminds me let, me, uh, let me tell that story. It's true. Sometime around before we wrote that song, we were hanging out a lot together. And uh, Abby was in Rhode Island here. And um, it was pretty early on. We went to this very, like, it's, to this day, it's still kind of a sketchy bar in... Uh, <laughs> Right next to the ocean mist in in uh, like Charlestown, Rhode Island, on the ocean, beautiful thing. But it's a it's a very strange place because it's an Irish bar uh, with no. It's on the ocean and there's no there's no windows to see the ocean. So it's a very dark place to begin with. Like it's it's they have no interest in the ocean. They're just there for drinking. And so we went in and there was like an open mic or something where we got the instruments out. Of, we did a gig basically. I I have a recollection like we did like a set together. There's some pictures and it, it seemed like it was a great night but I think we caused a little bit of a stir by being the outsiders in the scene and there was this very tough girl and you had a, you had a sweatshirt on I think that said Jersey City on it and this girl yes. walked up to you and she said something, and you said, "What? Do you live in Jersey? What was her thing? What are you?" T she said, uh, "Like she started starting trouble with you, right?" Yeah, that's that's where it gets a little fuzzy. Like <laughs> she was, she was just kind of like giving me flack, like, "Oh, Jersey, really?" Yeah, that's right. Was like, she was giving um, you trouble, like, "Oh, you live in Jersey," and then uh, she turned and like said something really nasty to you, like, "Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do." Like something, whatever. And she was walking right, away, right. And, and our gentle Abby Gardner, a girl I had only seen in Red Molly. Just the most lovely girl you'd ever want to meet in your life. As the girl, as the tough girl was walking out of the tough bar, Abby Gardner yelled after her, You better run, bitch! And it was a great night. <laughs> My proudest moment ever. I was like, I had a whole new respect for you. I saw you got, suddenly got really tall and fantastic. I was like, whoa, she's tough, man. So, I remember, yeah. I had that, I remember having a very strong feeling inside. Yeah. <laughs> It was quite a moment. I was I was shocked and also elated because the other people around us to, uh, started. There was a lot of respect suddenly coming our way in the form of free drinks and shots. I remember we we uh, yeah. we won the day in, that time. In my mind, there was also some like I became a pool shark too. Was that just made up? Because no, that's changed. Yeah, some of that happened. I think that was another bar. It was a long night or some All other right. time, but I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jersey. Yeah. Jersey. So. Yeah, so that puts me in mind of this song that I'm going to play, and uh, we'll just Good. keep this party rolling. All right, hold on. I'll be back. You'll be back. Uh, this song, actually, Abby has a lot to do with this song. Is I was coming out of uh, visiting with her in, New in Jersey City a long time ago, uh, and uh, we had been talking about life and relationships and stuff. Um, 
heartaches and things that we had both been through and uh, this song came to me in full on the ride home pretty much uh, it's called you are already gone Are not broken and your dreams they are not clipped it's just a temporary melancholy into which you have slipped maybe this did not work out but you got to love just the same put the memory of that behind a picture frame up your bags and close the drawer you don't have to live that way anymore give yourself a break let your heart just rest and bandage up the places that you've bled listen to the voices in your head telling you already gone mm -hmm. gather up your thoughts you've got to ride this storm now that you have come but too far to give up now everything you need Probably carry through the door Don't even stop to think about What it is you're leaving for Man, there'll be no more empty promises No more keeping score No more dodging bullets In your dirty little war Give yourself a break Ah, let your heart just rest And Bandage up the places, the places that you've bled. And listen to the voices in your head telling you you are already gone. Yeah. Gather up your thoughts, gather up your things. Gather up your strength and leave the key. We know thoughts and wisdom. Those things are earned and then they're own. Something you carry with everything from everywhere that you have roamed. See, you are made of whalebone. You're getting stronger every day. So take what you need and be on your way. You are tough as stone. You can live alone. So here you stand at the dimming of the day. And there is nothing else that anyone can say except you are already gone. I'm glad you're still there. Song. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just I remember it came like all at once, one of those songs, like driving in my car heading out of New York City. So, um, yeah. So Thanks good. for whatever love, whatever got so us many, to that song. Yeah. There's so many lines in there, you know. Oh, God, now I can't remember a single one of them, of course. But there's so well, many yeah. lines that are just like, oh, yeah. Well, they're all it's made up. It's a, good, it's a good thing it's a long song, because I was like tearing up at the beginning. I'm like, get it together. 
<laughs> I feel like that a lot when I'm singing and I'm in the middle of it and I'm like, oh man, I'm hearing this for the first time, which is what happens when you sing songs sometimes. Like you, mm -hmm. you put yourself in the middle of it and it's like brand new again and suddenly you're crying again about your dog that you lost or whatever that, that you wrote the song about. And uh, yeah, so, but that's just part of what's fun about it. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. It keeps it so, fresh, that's for sure. Sometimes yeah. I have to remind myself, like, it's not my turn to cry. This is for the people. Right. I can cry <laughs> <Yeah>. later. <laughs> I love when people, um, when people apologize, like, I'm sorry, I'm crying during that song. Like, that is the biggest compliment I've ever gotten in my uh -huh. life, that you're weeping during the song. That's like, yeah. that's wonderful. Like, that makes me happy because, you know, it's, we're, they're all meant to try to make you feel something, uh, whether it's mm -hmm. laughter or anger or something. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> So That's no a matter what, segue. yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, yeah. what do you what are you playing now? What's gonna happen? Um, is what I want to know. I was thinking. Well, speaking of crying, I was thinking about doing a song from my last record called "Once the Teardrops Start to Fall." I didn't yeah. write this one, but I had to steal it from. Uh, Very Lynch. appropriate. Very yeah. Oh, I love her. Yeah, uh, she's, she's so a wonderful sweet. songwriter. Yeah, my great friend Don Oja Dunaway, Claire Lynch did one of his songs way back when, and I remember thinking like that. You've made it in show business because she was on oh, like yeah. a label. She was on a major label, a country singer, you know, mm -hmm. bluegrass artist. It was great. So, I uh, can't wait yeah. to hear this song. Take us away. Yeah, yeah. She, um, I, I was in the round at the Bluebird with her and the songwriters in the round. Uh, her and David Olney, and it was just, uh, it was, it was a mega round and i asked her if i could play the song even though it's kind of like you know the bluebird you sing your own songs it's about songwriters but she was in the round so i figured it was a <laughs> it was a loophole that's fair she, you're allowed to yeah, do that yeah. right that's fair yeah. and she was like yeah sure i got plenty of songs and she tried to sing along with me but i guess i had like turned it so, like i had made it my own so <laughs> that's what you gotta do yeah you cool Take all right all right i'll play the song and hi, Dad. My dad's out there play, uh, listening, so. Whoa. Let me try that again. That's better. <laughs> well, they say life's what you make it, and I know it's true. Every day I make myself believe I'm over you They say put the past behind you Let it go But even after all this time I still miss you so But sometimes they don't start to fall <laughs> Well my friends all think they know me inside out It's plain to see I'm over you this time without a doubt Cause I've shown no hint of heartache no telltale sign As far as everybody knows I put our love behind
That was amazing. <laughs> oh my God, that is bad. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Uh, Barbara Warren got it right. She she just wrote a comment that's exactly what I think, which is your dobro playing is ridiculous. Like oh. it's has it's redunk, as the kids say. Like <laughs> it sounds yeah, it sounds so good. It's insane. Thank you. Dang, oh. you've been that's practicing really nice. even you're you've been practicing even more than before. You're you've it's, that, it's, it's all adding up. That, it's all I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's I mean. That's the good stuff. Like that's good. I mean, you you yeah. getting. It's a golf game. I always say it's like you can't master it. You know, you just keep getting at it. You keep doing it a lot. Yeah, you just keep showing up. It's like yoga. You know, like there's no performance for yoga. You just keep showing up. Yeah, it's just you got to wear the stretchy pants and get to it. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of which, I love that shirt you're wearing. Oh yeah, this is my uh, this is my Abby Gardner T-shirt that came to in the mail. This is a new one, and I'm very excited. I have a great collection. If you come to my place of of Abby Gardner <laughs> materials, for instance, uh, here you go. Try this Abby no. Gardner songbook. That is one of my favorite things that I play out of all the time. Um, oh, great oh stuff. I am happy to be. Uh, there's I'm in one of the pictures. So so I feel like I'm part of the book. That's exciting. Yeah. Then, of yeah. course, as you go around, there's much more. Do you get any? Do you play any songs from this from this early record right here? Oh my any? goodness! Um, <laughs> no, and that's the original version. That um, the the subsequent pressings of that weren't so orange. Um, because I like the orange. It's cool. <laughs> it's a little much. You I look mean, about 12 years old on the cover of this, just I so was. you know. <laughs> and your dad, your dad. That's your dad playing piano, right? Yeah. 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 For those of you that don't know, many of you do, but Abby's father is a, a masterful jazz piano player of great renown, and uh, I had a great night. We went to see him at, stu at uh, not Studio 54, that was a, that must have been a different thing. It was at uh, 54 Underground, was it called? Or 50, 50, in New York City, 54 Underground, where you played with the big oh. band. You sat oh, in and oh, sang. Well, um Swing 46. Swing 46. Yeah, I knew it was yes. something like that. And it yeah. was really cool because it was like yeah. big band with uh, your dad at the piano leading the band and then you got up and sang. Suddenly it was like 1946 in there. It was like the Andrew Sisters and yeah. all this great stuff was happening. And people were even dressed up in sort of like a period piece. A few people garb. came. <laughs> yeah, garb. Yeah. But what a great night that was. Your dad, it's good. I'm glad he's watching because he's just the coolest. So. And he's, uh, he's actually playing um, live streams. Uh, lunchtime with most, your sister. Most weekend days, yeah, yeah. yeah. Live, uh, live jazz lunch. Dad, you should just post a little uh, link because I don't have the link handy, but it's um, live jazz lunch. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, Susie mentions that we've been at it for about an hour, but I think we should keep going. Um, play a few more. Yeah, I mean, if everybody's into it. If you're not into it, you please uh, deposit your your anger and what the things you don't like in the comments. But let me uh, let me play you a new tune and uh, yes. I got a new thing. It's kind of an old thing that turned into a new thing. You know, when a lyrics lying around forever and ever. But yes, I always liked it. I was always kind of fond of it. So uh, this is called changing. Yeah, there's a call for more, and that's enough for me and Abby to keep going. It's not like we have somewhere to go. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I wish the dobro was sliding around on this one right now. What happened to them is they started to fall apart Life got bad and things got tight What happened to them is that they lost touch During so many working nights What happened to her is she began to change When she realized change isn't always bad to him as he started to rearrange when he saw what he wanted was not what he had but blue skies came when the rain was done but when the rain was done the sun come out and roads that run through trouble and pain led to revelations after the doubts 
That's what change is about. Yeah. See, she always wanted to be a painter. And she took a job on Wall Street instead. He always saw himself living in the Florida Keys, but somewhere to there he lost the thread. She thought she was acting responsible And that money made the man See, he thought happiness was impossible So he stayed right where he began And blue skies came when the rain was done When the rain was done, the sun come out the run, the roads that run through trouble and pain, led, they led to revelations after the doubts, and that's what change is about, that's what change is about, yeah. you see when you hit the wall, your life just stalls. It's pretty easy not to take a chance Maybe doors swing open and, and time moves on One foot out the door and then you're gone And blue skies came when the rain is done And when the rain was done, the sun come out and The roads, the roads that run through trouble and pain to revelations after the doubts and that's what changing is about the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the nicest news I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. It's all, Aww. again, as always, they're all made up. They're all made up. They're all, it's, it's like therapy, though. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> <laughs> that felt good. It feels good tonight to, uh, to sing and play with you. This makes me really happy. We should be doing this all the time, just... Constantly. We don't have to have an audience. We should just get together online and sing and play. Yeah. Now, but why I can't Craig? Where is, where is Craig? Why can't he pop along on the bass? Where he's is he? He's not here. Pop along on the bass. I know. All his basses are here. Um, yeah. No, he's out in Kansas City. He's seeing his family. Oh, and he's all that's vaccinated. His, so he's, that's his um, hometown. That's his, that's his yeah. turf. Yeah. Yeah. He has a friend that's doing a big um, show out there, in, uh. actually in Oklahoma. So. So Craig, for those that don't know, on from my end, those that know me, he played on my Whalebone record. He's Abby's husband. He played on my Whalebone record. He also played with me and brother Chris and Chris Berard on the Desperados at some very seminal gigs, including a couple with the Doobie Brothers and things. So he's he's a masterful uh, bass man. So I wish he was uh, with us tonight. But um, you know, I'm glad he's doing all right. And uh, I may be calling him soon too. Yeah, we both yeah. have all our setup. Now we finally got kicked into gear. Like, we've always wanted the uh, home recording setup, and now it's like, okay. Andy, I've, been, now we have I've it. spent much of my adult life trying to avoid the, the home recording setup. Yeah. Just, just this microphone alone is pulling me into a direction of, like, uh, there's too much technology for me. But <laughs> I don't, I don't. COVID yeah. says that it's a necessary uh, thing, you know. It's, we have to, it started to become really evident, so, uh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, yeah. I have I have a memory that I'm wondering if is true. <laughs> <laughs> Did I I remember going to see the Desperados when we like maybe a couple years into knowing you and um I went to see the Desperados play in in Rye, New York, I believe. Um and I think I ended up being drafted into being a roadie. Oh, for yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. That could, <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's that's all sounds reasonable. Did I ever play lap steel with you guys? Like one no, what, time? this happened. Chris and I were doing our what was at the time a rather renowned gig at the world famous cellar in yes. in New York, and you played electric lap steel, 
in that crazy place for those people, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, okay. that was a different so that thing. Wasn't that, a was, dream. that was no, just that like wasn't a dream. A that other gig was probably okay. a similar thing. That but this one, you played electric lap steel, and we yeah. got at it. <laughs> like we all had a lot of fun that night, like singing and playing, and it was a great night. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah. like nobody knew who I was, so they were just like, "Who? What the hell is happening?" <laughs> Yeah, There's and they don't. Chick in yeah, the corner playing lap steel. They don't get a lot of that down there, like you know. No. Uh, it oh, was, was the, so no, fun. that place. That place was very famous because when Chris and I started there, uh, we played on Sundays, and on Saturday night, uh, the band. It was a tiny place, but they had a band, and it was uh, Ace Freely of Kiss, and Free, no. Ace Freely's Freely's Comet. And I was so young and poor, I didn't have like guitar picks all the time, and I'd pick up Freely's comic picks from the ground. And we'd come in to set up, and then we'd do our Sunday night like acoustic gig that we'd sing, play songs, and you know we had our own little thing on Sundays. Yeah. But uh, that place was really, and and remains one of the most interesting uh, places on earth. We always said it didn't get interesting in there until after about 3 a.m. But when it did, it got really interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> but you were on that, yeah. It's the That's coolest amazing. place in the world. There's brother Chris piping in. Yeah, the cellar bar hey! is. Uh, it's a. It's a beautiful place, and we had a we had lots and lots and lots of good times there, and you were part of it. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And Bill, no, it wasn't. It wasn't pedal steel. Pedals with the all the knee levers and all that nonsense. No, this was just an electric version of the Dobro, just lap lap steel. Which, and it was cool. Yeah. It was really fun. I remember because I- like playing acoustic music, a lot of times like you you can't get too loud. You know, you got to kind of keep it mellow. But when I'm playing with, I mean, I play a lot of like churches and, and listening yeah. rooms and it's uh, beautiful. I love it. But sometimes just rocking out in the middle of the night in some loud bar and just, it's yeah. really fun. Yeah. I mean, that's that, well, the cellar bar is, a uh, is designed for that kind of action. So you were in the right place. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I'm glad you did it because now you have that story. So yeah. Uh, there's a few yeah. great uh, old veterans from there, like Kenny. Kenny the Acrobat uh, is piping in, and he was he was probably oh, nice. watched. He was probably behind the bar that night when you played, so he probably remembers it. But uh, anyway, play us a song. Um, All right. Yeah. I'll, get to I'll play it. another um, another new one. This uh, I've been working on recording this song, and I know there's some musicians listening in. And it's so funny how sometimes a song comes to you, and it's like this is the way it goes. And this one. Man, I started writing it on ukulele and then brought it to the dobro, and it keeps changing the arrangement. Um, but I think I keep putting off recording it. But I think I think this is how I want it to go. I'm not sure. This is called three quarter time. Oh, need the reverb.
dance me round When life brings us down I don't need a poet You know Standing ovation, my gosh. Oh my that goodness. Was... <laughs> People at home are clapping. Believe me, that, that was absolutely gorgeous. My God. How do you do that? How do you make those noises? That's so cool. Uh, I thought I had a new, I thought your, your first song was my new favorite, but that's my new favorite. So I, think I, got, I got two new favorites. My gosh. What an amazing thing. It looks like um, I'm bound. Uh, Constitutionally, to, I'm going to play one more song, and then you're going to play one to, to end the night for us. Okay. And um, right. that's that's just the way the showbiz cookie crumbles. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we have to do this again. Yeah, okay. absolutely. But to me, I've already had the nicest night you could possibly have. And um, so yeah. I'm going to I'll sing this one, and I'll I'll uh, I'm going to do one that's like sort of uh, we all have these songs this past year of uh, when you're been inside for so long and you felt that disconnect from other people and great friends like like you um so this one uh, this is for you abby i'm gonna sing this for you and i'll see you on the other side in just a moment called The Beauty of This Now. Hello, dear one. It's been so long since we've seen the sun. Maybe in this forced distance we will find the beauty of this now. Yeah, I'm checking in on you. Glad we still connect, even if this world's a wreck. I'm still here for you. Since I lost your love, everything I knew was in doubt. I'd lost the thread of what I was supposed to sing about. It was like I'd forgotten how. Do you think the world's gone mad? To remind us of the good things that we already have. As if to teach us a lesson somehow Maybe that is the beauty of this now It's so easy to get lost To let yourself be blown away To live 
live with that pain from day day to day everybody sees you falling apart yeah. So I'm glad you're doing all right, yeah. I'm so glad to talk with you tonight. Go outside and look up at the moon. Know that I can see it too. That we are both underneath the same moon. Maybe that's the beauty of this now. That felt that. good. That felt really good. Oh, uh, come a song on. For right now. Come on. Yeah. Uh, Boy, I wish just we could do this all the time. Hey, friends, uh, this has been my absolute pleasure to uh, to have Abby Gardner here on this, what I call Harbor Songs. This is number four, I believe. We're going to be doing another one with the great uh, Grace Morrison, and I do not remember what day Susie just told me it's going to be. Uh, Saturday, May 15th, yeah. So I hope you'll come <laughs> back for that. And I think, Abby, we should plan one in a couple months from now. We should just do this again. We should sprinkle yeah. the infield and do it again because there's more songs, you know, yeah. to, to play. I've got I've got a whole bunch more I want to play for you, and I know you got a bunch you want to play. So, oh. um, And then one thing before I leave you, once again, I'm, I'm constitutionally obligated, as they say. Uh, just thank you guys so much for the... Um, for the donations, for the tips, all that stuff, it really does matter. Thank you, guys. I have some tremendous gambling debts uh, that I need to pay. And I know Abby, she just can't stop with the online shopping. So, no. But honestly, it really does matter. And uh, thank you, guys. So, Abby, thank you for doing this. Um, sing us a song. Take us out. And Susie Marklin, also down there in Washington, D.C., thank you for pushing all the buttons. Um, that really means a lot. Thank you for what you do. Abigail, you are my favorite, and I consider you just the coolest among the greatest wow. humans working. So thank you for this night. Sing us a song, and I'll see you on the other end. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. And everybody who tuned in, um, thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. This is, it just, it means a lot. You have no idea. I mean, maybe you do, but it just, it can turn your world around, you know? to play songs for you guys. It just, it means so much. Um, and seeing my friend Mark is just, I don't see a lot of friends right now. So <laughs> it's just amazing <laughs> to see someone I go way back with. Um, like Dottie said, we have more stories and more songs. So we'll see you again sometime. And also I want to let you know, I'm doing a, um, I have a Patreon page and I do a private show for them every month, no matter what. But I'm also doing a full album live stream in May. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but it's going to be really fun. We're going to do the whole record of uh, Wishes on a Neon Sign, which is my last full album, uh, full band album. So um, that's going to be May 22nd. So if you want to tune into that during the day, so it won't even interfere with Harbor songs at night. Um, you can do both. All right, so... <clears throat> I'm going to leave you guys with um, a song I wrote with Molly Venter. And um, this is an answer song. So this is a song that uh, you've probably heard of the genre, right? Like where one songwriter will write, write something and then someone will answer it with another song. And not everybody necessarily knows all of these behind the scenes stories. But this one um, is an answer to a Dolly Parton song. The song is called Do I Ever Cross Your Mind? And Red Molly does this song a lot. We cover it. And uh, one time during sound check, I heard Molly singing it, and I was just thinking, like, huh, we should answer that because it's a question. Do I ever cross your mind? And right now is perfect time to answer that question. So this is called Only All the Time. Ears ringing, heard the 
song that you were singing Asking if you cross my mind Darling, only all the time Only when I'm walking in the evening And I hear the wind against the leaves Only when Only when my bare feet touch the ground Only when I hear my own voice sighing And all at once I think of where we would be now I felt my ears ringing Hey, hey I heard the song that you were singing Asking if you cry Thank you, Abby Gardner. Thank you so Thank much. You. What a great night. Thank you, everybody. And I'll see you Bye down now. the line. Thanks for dinner. Take us away, Susie. <laughs> A1A rented car. Radio playing that song. Over the bridge into the old city. I can almost hear you singing along. Spanish rice, salted tequila Looking down over St. George Street There are ghosts here on every corner I can see them from my barroom window seat My friend Oh, my friend Now I'm not one looking back God knows I'm trying to move ahead But something ancient in the wind Let me hear whispered words we left unsaid And I'm very aware how cliche Songs about old love can be But I would sing about anything To have you right here with me My friend My friend My friend
It's the people in your life and all the places that you see that put your life up on the moving screen. And the river's laid out before you, and you must be moving on. Just remember to look back before it's gone, my friend. Still shining like those stars out on the bay. My friend, we'll always have our memories. Those will never go away. Way. So I'm gonna sit here for a while. Maybe later sing one with the band. I'm gonna drink a few more, walk it all off somewhere with you out there on the sand. My friend Oh, my friend